Hello everybody, Pilot83 here. In today's video we're going to do a tutorial on setting up a flight plan through Simbri for your A330-900 by LVFR. I had did a video a few days ago showing how you take your flight plan, put it in the tablet, and set up the FMC in the plane. A few people had reached out to me asking if I could go over how I did it inside of Simbri because they were new to Simbri. So I did a little research on YouTube and stuff and noticed that a lot of the videos out there make it a lot more complex than it needs to be, especially for those people who are new to using Simbrief. So I thought I would do a video just making it very simple and sh so you can get going with this if you're new to Simbrief. And from there you can blossom. So once you make your Simbrief account, if you don't have one yet, it is free. You're going to go to New Flight. And then once you go to New Flight, you'll be on this page right here. The stuff in the red are the things that we have to fill out. Other than that, other stuff is optional. So like I said, I'm going to make this very easy and easy to understand. So let's go ahead and get to it. And we'll also set this up in the plane afterwards. So airline. So this is going to be your ATC airline call sign. So each airline has its own call sign. So like Delta, for example, would be Delta Lima, then following numbers. So you don't have to put anything here if you don't want to, but if you want to, you can. It doesn't change anything at all in your flight plan. Now, departing. Okay, so we could put, where are we departing? So I'm sure you have an idea in your head of where you're leaving and where you're going. So let's say we'll leave Tampa, and let's say we'll go to Baltimore. All right. So if you go down here next, aircraft type. So we're going to find the aircraft that we're in, which is the A330-900. Click it. And when you click it, you'll see variant of airframe. Now, some developers' planes are on here, some are not. This one actually is. So if you click on variant of airframe, go down, you'll see Latin VFR, MSFS A330-900. Click that, boom. Moving on down, cost index. If you're not sure what this is or anything, I would just leave it at auto. I normally do, unless I'm in like the 737. But uh, cost index is going to vary from airline to airline depending on, you know, their regulations and so forth. I know a good one for this plane is usually between 15 and 25 cost index, but I'm going to leave it at auto for this. This plane is not super complex, so I'll just leave it as it is. We'll see our ATC call sign right here, Delta Lima 2240, which is what we did up here. Registration, fin number, all that. Don't worry about any of that. All right, moving on. OFP layout. If you're not familiar with what this is for sure, just leave it at Lido. But in layman terms, it's basically just changed. It basically just changes where the information appears on your charts. I normally do easy Y for myself, but uh, Lido is what most people use. It's the basic. It's what we're using for this. Just leave that as is. Units. Most planes in the sim do things in the kilograms. I just leave that as is. I basically leave most of this as is. So taxi out, 20 minutes, taxi in, 8 minutes. Just leave all that alone. Let's go have this already at IFR. Basically just leave all that alone. Your schedule block time for your flight. All right. That's from gate to gate. Uh, so we could choose our departure runway. So 19 right is where I'm going to depart. All right. Arrival runway. You already picked one for me. So arrival runway, runway 10. Leave that there. That is fine. It's going to pick our SIDs and STARs for us automatically. All right, so we have our SID here, STAR here. All right, and I normally just go with the first one on, on suggested routes on the flight plan. You can choose some different ones. You see right here. They're all a little bit different, but I'm going to go with the first one here. For this video, just leave it at that. Okay, and from there... I mean, that's basically it. That's basically all we need to do for this to get this going and get you moving. So click Generate Flight. All right, so we have information here, initial altitude, cruise profile. So it actually has, a, has us at a cost index of 800. So we'll roll with that. Got our block fuel, cargo, payload, passengers, and all of that stuff. So what I do from here is I click on view PDF, and here we go. 
So if you're new to this, basically the only thing that's really important that you need to know are these first three pages. One, two, and three. Other than that, you pretty much not worry about the other stuff for now. You can learn that later. But the most important thing you need to focus on in the sim is just these first three pages. And it's pretty easy stuff. We got our plan feel, we got weather. We have our route right here. Waypoints, airways, SID star. But okay, so we have all that. And like I said, these first three pages, we're good to go. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out our A330. We're going to go ahead and load this into our plane. And remember to load it into your plane. You go to your account settings and you'll see your pilot ID. And that'll be the number you will attach you will attach to your sim brief inside of your tablet in the plane. Let's get to the A330. Alrighty guys, we are now inside the A330 900. Just be sure when you have your plane set up that you have your IR 1, 2, and 3 aligned. It'll take a minute once you put those into action before you get to the screen right here. Once you have all that set up, we're going to go ahead and go over here. Sembri flight plan. This is where you put that number at. If you have not done it, you will go fetch OFP. Your last flight plan that you generated is what will appear here. There it is right there. So now, let's come on down here. We'll click on flight plan. And we're going to send to CDU. Okay. Give it a minute. gonna be in yellow at first so we're gonna wait till it's all green because it's still currently loading in everything we're we'll going to change our range out a little bit here so we can see exactly what we're doing all right it is now fully green it is now fully loaded into our FMC see it there we could also go to our VFR map as well Yeah, we can see see where it's at currently. Now this is gonna change a little bit as we start changing some things around. Okay, so in the A330, it does not put in your SIDs or stars for you. So even though we have them on our SIM brief, it does not actually put them in for us. So we need to put those in ourselves manually. So our SID is gonna be right after all these numbers, if you are not aware. So it's going to be the ended one SID. All right. Also, this is going to have our cruising altitude, the distance, passenger count, the cost index. It's going to have most of our information that we need for this plane already right here for us. So let's go ahead and get this set up. So the SID is the ended one and the Raven six is our star okay let's come over here we're going to click beside this besides KTPA we're going to click star okay and from this point here it's going to have our information for us that we need okay it's got to have our runways we could choose, our SID, and all that. So, we had 19 right. So, we'll click 19 right. That was our runway. And then remember, the ended one is our SID. Now, sometimes the SIM does not fully have all these in it. Sometimes it does. If it does not, try to find something close to what you have on your simply flat plan but in this case we do end it one insert that all right we now have our SID in place now we need to go down and put in our star so let's go to destination rival all right and we're landing at runway 10 KBWI 
And that was the Raven 6. They have that here. So that's great. We're uh, doing pretty well. Insert that in. Back to flight plan. Now if we look close, instead of it being just a straight out like it was, now we have this SID. So that's all set up. Our flight plan is set up. It's matching our SIM brief. Okay, so now from this point here, that's when we need to start doing things like our init and all that. So it already puts our cost index in for us, so you're good there. It already puts in our cruising altitude, which is 36,000 feet. It's got the real tip from outside right now so you see 36,000 feet there it's got the cost index of a hundred now if we go back to weather 24 degrees Celsius keep in mind that this tip here is at that altitude okay go to next page trip wind go back to your sim brief right here 261 at 089 something else we need to do what you don't have to do this, but if you can, if you want things more realistic, is we can we can go ahead and make our fuel match what the SIM brief is telling us that we should be for this flight plan. So we can go down here to our weights. Okay. So our fuel on board. So if we go back down to SIM brief. Block fuel, 17457. So we need to get this rounded up close we can to that. Don't have to be exact. Okay, and that will also reflect um, right here as well. Okay. Go back over here. Payload. Two three three six nine. So let's go back to that. Now, also, your passengers is going to be a little bit off because we can't manually choose our passengers in this plane but that's okay we'll roll with that okay actually it already does all that for us we don't have to worry about that at all okay so let's move on okay let's go to our performance page for V1, VR, V2, we can just click here. Trans altitude. This is something you will find on your charts for the airport. Um, and normally, I believe it always says 5,000 for this. I think every airport I go to, 
through the sim brief on this plane. So like I said, we just leave that as it is. That's fine. Um, flap. So you said that for your flash for takeoff. That's going to vary on things like weather, weight, and all that. Um, I'm gonna do. I normally do flaps two and I don't do any trim on this plane so I'll do two down then zero dot oh I'm actually messing up two dn zero dot one I already got the temp, so that's fine. Got the call set deck still there. All right, so this will be things on your approach. So this is going to vary. Actually, this is something we would put in later when we actually get to, or once we get close to the airport or with it approach. Now, we can look up the weather of that airport if we wanted to. So we come right here. And we could get a good idea in advance. We could put something in and change it as we get as we go along if you wanted to. Quest. All right, so here we go. So you could take this information ahead of time if you wanted to and put it in. We got the winds heading 190 at 5 knots. All right, we got our weather. We get our Q at H. So like I said, you could put this in if you wanted to and advance um, I normally just wait till I get a little bit closer just to be safe but if you wanted to you could but that's normally how you'd get that information and put that in but yeah you guys that's, that's pretty much it it's pretty much that easy to get this plane going from that point there that's when we would start setting up our our uh, MCDU panel up here setting all that up setting everything up for takeoff and so forth but uh Pretty much all the information you need in this plane is right there on that sim brief. It's pretty much all right here off of off of your main sim brief page right here that it gives you. So you're pretty much good for the most part. It pretty much gives you pretty much everything that you need when so from that point there guys you're good to go. I hope this video helps make things a little bit easier for y'all and ways you can make things more realistic and kind of how I do it inside of this plane specifically. Till next time, guys, I am Pilot83. See you guys in my next video. Hopefully, we'll get some good drops tonight. See you guys later. Happy flying. Peace.